Hello, this is a tutorial about pointers. Pointers are basically used to point to different memory locations and set values there. For example, we could first point to a memory address 100 and we can set the value there and next we can use the same pointer variable to point to another place in a memory, for example 2000 and get value from 2000 and next we can point to 505 memory location and set or get value there. So let's create an example here about this pointer thing. Let's first create a variable a, integer a and let's set the value to 5 And next, let's create the corresponding pointer variable. Let's call it p. It could be something else as well. It doesn't need to be p, obviously. But to keep it short, let's say p. And next, let's set p to point to the address where a is. We do it like this. We use the ampersand symbol and then we put A. So this means that set B to be the address of A. Ampersand and a variable on the right hand side means that give the address of that. Whatever is on the right hand side, give the address. Next, we can set the value of p to be something, let's say 73. This will set the value where p is pointing currently to 73. And because p is currently pointing to the address where a is, this means that also the value of a will be 73 here and I can prove that I can let's put a let's print a a here at the end and let's see what is the value as we can see it is 73 because p is pointing to the address of A according to this and then we say set the content of P to 73. So putting star on the left hand side of, of the variable means that give the content of P and if it's on the left hand side of this equal sign it's gonna mean that set the content of p. Obviously if it's on the, on the right hand side we would we want to get the content of p. So an example of getting would be b b and star p. So now we are asking asking the content of p where p is currently pointing we are asking that give give us the content of p so this this will be 73 obviously we we will set here b to be 73 i have drawn a picture about this and let's see this one to see clearly what's happening in the memory so first we create variable a here and we will set a to 5 a, a variable is now linked to this memory memory here which has address 368 and the content of that address is 5. The length of this memory block will be integer. Whatever is the size of one integer will be the size of this memory block here. 
So whenever we, whenever in the code we say a, that will, that will cause the program to go and see the address 368, and it will find out the value from there. What is the value of a? And obviously we can set also the value of a using a. We can set it to something else here, obviously. And now next we will create this pointer p. What happens here is that it, the program will allocate memory for p and let's say that the address for pointer p variable is 68. We don't really use this 68 in this exercise because we don't need the address of p here. We only need the content of p here later on. So in number number three in the picture number three we are setting p to be the address of a now what happens is that the program will will go and see what is the address of a this left hand side this sorry this right hand side here so here the address of a is 368 so 368 will be put into this memory location to be the value of p. And in the picture 4 we are setting the content of p to 73. Now we can say this same thing like three different ways as I'm doing here. So first of all set the content where p is pointing to 73. And let's remember that star means the content of something. So in this case we we are setting the content of address 368 to 73. We could also we could also think this to be like this so that first there is this star and p is the address address 368 so basically what we are doing is give us the content of address whatever is in the address 368 S so, sorry we are setting here we are not getting but anyway set whatever is in address 368 the content of that set to 73. So after all of this the content of 368 will be set to 73 and as we can see it's the same address what A has so A will also be 73 after all of this like we saw here. Okay this one is the end, end of the this is the end of the tutorial thank you thank you for watching